I'm going to show you a couple of really big pictures and the point isn't to understand all the details in this particular picture, but to see a little bit of a pattern. And then we're going to go dig in a little bit deeper and look at some of the details. But for right now, just kind of attend to the, the patterns. And I'm going to introduce to you the scales and, and how to interpret them and what they mean. So here's a picture of commitment to learning. Uh, you can see a couple of things. One, notice the scale. It goes from 5 to 15. And the 10 is sort of the midpoint in terms of commitment to learning. If you're above 10, that means you generally have a positive sense of commitment to learning. If you're below 10, you have a weaker or more negative sense of commitment to learning. So 10 is kind of that midpoint where we identify strong versus weaker commitment to learning. The other bar that goes right through all those dots, that's the Minnesota average across all grades and all communities. And then we see grade 5, 8, 9, and 11 on the, left, or on the right hand side because there are separations for each grade. And then within each grade we see different racial and ethnic communities. We see American Indian, Asian, Black, White, multiple race, Latino, Somali, and Hmong. And I should say that the black and African American category does not include Somali students. We, we separated Somali students. The same thing with the Asian community, we separated Hmong students. This is a new feature of the Minnesota Student Survey, that they were able to help ask students to identify membership in three ethnic communities, which is a really rich uh, data for us. I just want you to notice a couple of things. Overall, commitment to learning is really high in Minnesota. It is, it is really high. It's, a, it's well above the 10 sort of intermediate neutral position. 87% of youth in Minnesota report positive commitment to learning. But we also see that commitment to learning decreases somewhat from grades 5 to 8. And we also see a lot of variation. This variation contains the big story, the variation in commitment to learning. Here's a picture of positive identity. Positive identity is moderate to high. Notice that the mean is not quite as far away from the 10, the, the moderate level of positive identity. Here in commitment to learning, we see that the mean is higher. Here it's a little bit lower. But 79% of Minnesota youth report positive identity. And we also see a decrease in positive identity from grades 5 to 8. And again, there's a lot of variation across groups. Here's social competence. Social competence is also moderate to high, very close to positive identity. 85% of Minnesota youth report positive social competence. And again, for most groups, we see a decline from grade 5 to 8. We all know this as the, as the rough transition as students move from elementary school to secondary school or from elementary to middle school. This is a, this is a time that I think many of us know is really important. Uh, it's important to provide the supports uh, in that transition. Uh, but I should also mention these are the three developmental skill areas that Generation X has adopted for their sixth goal area that we will be monitoring in terms of progress of students and, and uh, broadening our definition of, of youth and school success. What I'd like to do is show you a little bit of the pattern now over time so that we can see this as students move from grades 5, 8, 9 to 11. And it's not so important to notice differences among groups because here, for instance, in commitment to learning, there is a little bit of a difference from one group to the next and we see the lines are not on top of each other. But it's actually very consistent across grades 5, 8, 9, and 11. Commitment to learning does not particularly drop as students move from middle, or elementary school into middle school and on into high school. Students in all communities maintain a high level of commitment to learning and it's sustained. Students themselves sustain their own commitment to learning. This is a story that we need to dig into and understand a little bit more. I'm going to have something to say about that at the very end. Social competence. We see a slight decline over the grades from grades 5, 8, 9 to 11 in, in most groups. We, are, we also see though that American Indian students um, are, are lower than most of the other groups. This is a community we don't hear and understand and get to know enough 
right? It's, it's the one sort of invisible community uh, we, don't, we don't quite frankly hear enough about. Uh, same thing here. With the Somali community, Somali community, Somali teens in, in schools, very high sense of positive identity. And, and oddly enough, there's no drop from grade five to eight, but then there is that decline from grade eight to 11. Whereas in all the other communities, there's a, more of a drop from grade, grade five to eight in positive identity. And that's something that we all need to, to attend to, and I think many of us do in our, in our efforts. Empowerment. Slight decline over time. Support, sense of support. And teacher school support. Teacher school support is where we see the most significant shift as students move from elementary to middle school, from five to eight, in all groups, 